Science is an ever-growing state of change which grows along with time and space. The world today deals and revolves around a series of changes which is developed through certain phenomena. In order for us to understand what we are dealing with, we need to identify and test out things and how they react with each other. It is very important that we cease to see the underlying factors on how and what makes up each things that surrounds us and how both things complement or contrast from each other. In today's content we are going to look upon what things are made of and how understanding those things can help and the application of those things in our actual or real life. We are going to tackle the four states of matter. Almost all of us are well familiar with the four states of matter. It may sound too elementary or basic. But as we grow further with this ever changes in life, we need to further relearn and develop a sense of understanding and growth of information. Once you learn new things and relate back on past things, you will be able to retain those knowledge and even develop a newfound apprehension. So without much further ado let's go right into it. So for the first state of matter, we are going to tackle solids. One of the four fundamental states of matter. The molecules in a solid are closely packed together and contain the least amount of kinetic energy. Solids can be hard like a rock, soft like fur, or even small rocks like grains of sand. A solid material such as a rock will always look like a rock unless something happens to it. Just like what had been said a while ago, a solid can hold their shape because their molecules are tightly packed together. Solids can be made of many things. They can have pure elements or a variety of compounds inside. When you have a solid with more than one type of compound, it is known as a mixture. Let us have some examples of solid materials. Now let's talk about the next phase of matter. Liquids. Liquids are made up of very small particles. The particles that make up a liquid are close together with no regular arrangement, vibrate, move about, and slide past each other. The most obvious physical properties of a liquid are its retention of volume and its conformation to the shape of its container. When a liquid substance is poured into a vessel, it takes the shape of the vessel and, as long as the substance stays in the liquid state, it will remain inside the vessel. Also, when a liquid is poured from one container to another form of container, it will retain its volume. Let us look some of the examples of a liquid substances. Before to the next phase of matter let us first talk about a special phenomena wherein the liquid matter changes into solid. This phenomenon is called solidification or freezing. This happens when a liquid state material such as a liquid changes its form into solid state because of some chemical or formational changes of its characteristics. Here let us take an example of some special events wherein solidification happens. Well in that phenomena a different event can also take place, wherein the solid state changes its form into liquid. This transition is called the melting point. Well, let's take a look of some normal happenings which occurs on our daily lives. Right now let us proceed to the next state of matter. The gases. In gases, the atoms are much more spread out than in solids or liquids. 
and the atoms collide randomly with one another. The gas will fill any container, but if that container is not sealed, the gas will eventually escape. Gas can be compressed much more easily than a liquid or solid. As of now, you are typically breathing in air. And this air is a mixture of gases containing different elements such as oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon. Let us furthermore have another examples of gaseous substance. Okay, before we proceed to the final state of matter, let us discuss another special phenomena, wherein substances from liquid state forms or reacts to become a gaseous state. This phenomenon is called evaporation. Let us have some example of this phenomenon. Another phenomena which is opposite with evaporation. Condensation. The phenomena that we are going to tackle now is called the condensation process. Wherein the substance coming from gaseous state transforms into liquid state. Let us have some common condensation examples. Well what have just been discussed are some special phenomena, where liquid state transforms into gaseous state and vice versa. But we are still not done yet with the special cases. What if solid state substances changes into gaseous state? Well then this phenomenon is called sublimation. Let us have some example of this sublimation phenomenon. What if we do the process reversely? From gaseous state to solid state. Then this phenomena is then called the deposition process. Here we have an example of the deposition process. In which the cold water vapor turns into ice. Now that we know some special phenomena that is occurring in our environment and which is a normal happening in our everyday lives. Let us now proceed to the last state of matter. Plasma is very similar to gas. In fact, the easiest way to describe plasma is as a gas that can carry an electrical charge. Plasma is a form of matter that exists when atoms are in an excited state. They are so excited that they jump an energy level and, in doing so, give off light. Plasma particles are spread out and move around randomly, but unlike gas, they contain some free ions and electrons, which gives plasma its ability to conduct electricity. Let us have some common examples of substances in plasma state. There is also a special circumstance wherein a different phenomena happens. Wherein plasma turns into gas. This phenomena is called deionization. A common example of this is the aurora. But what if we have it in reverse? When gas turns into plasma another special phenomenon takes effect. This phenomenon is called ionization. A common example of this is lightning. Well we have just discussed all of the four states or phases of matter. We have already encountered almost all of these things in our everyday lives. And those amazing phenomena that were discussed made up our world today. This are some of the wonders and exciting adventures you will learn about science. That ends our discussion for today. Hope that you learned a lot from the topics that we have explored. Continue exploring and observing as you go along with life. Well if you've enjoyed this content please give it a thumbs up. And for more of this videos and other contents that you would like to explore with such as learning mathematics or valuable life uplifting contents. Please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button to be notified every time we will have a new content upload. Don't worry it's free. Let me end this video with a true to life quote. 
Just like science, it may be filled with negative and positive energy or charges. Our life are also are filled with negative and positive people. So be careful folks, and never worry about it. Learn and evolve, and become the best version of yourself. Till next time, Mr. Ifix.